welcome back to my channel i thought that i would just vlog mine and callum's cozy little sunday today i was going to make this into a sit down video going through some books on my bookshelf um and then my cousin bought me one of those bookends that you may have seen on tiktok i'm not sure i'll show you it eventually and then i was going to build that with you and i am still going to do those things but i thought that i would just do it into a little bit more of a vlog style rather than sit down because it's, it's my preference, really. These are my favourite kind of Sundays when me and Callum... I mean, I would love to be having completely chilled on the couch eating a Sunday roast. But I also love a Sunday when me and Callum put together a little list of things we need to do around the house. And we just power through it. So it's just gone 12 o'clock midday. I already this morning... Well, to be fair, it doesn't really sound like a lot. But I've gone and done the food shop, come back, put it all away. But I've kind of cleaned the kitchen as I've gone along. And then tonight we're having a parmesan and garlic chicken with new potatoes and tender stem broccoli. And the potatoes and the chicken go in the slow cooker. So I have actually prepared that, put that in the slow cooker um, and just give the kitchen a little bit of a tidy down. I've got a bit of drying up to do. I want to sweep through just a few little cleany bits. Callum's currently washing the cars outside. And then I know he's going to come in and hoover through. And I've got a wash load to put out. So there's just a few little things that we want to get on top of around the house. We've really made an effort to kind of clean this weekend. And then we're putting together um, a really thorough deep clean list of those jobs that you probably do once a year. And we're going to tackle them over the next month or so. Yeah. We've got an old tea towel. I'm going to crack on with a few jobs and then we can get down to business on books. I made myself the most crispy... Pepsi Max, chilled Pepsi Max, ice, straw in a glass. Right, let's get this stuff dried up and put away. the hoover and ended up putting the washing out and i finished off a few bits downstairs dinner's still cooking away um so before i get enthralled in book tbr and making my little bookend i'm actually gonna have a bath i love having a bath on a sunday i'm actually gonna do a face mask because i had a little organize of my um cupboard in front of me let me just show you so basically, I had the flannels on the top of the cabinet, but they are t almost too high to reach, and Callum just chucked some up there um, aimlessly. So I've kept the, the jars that we've got, and I've moved my big cream and uh, oil cleanser to the top, and I've moved them in here. And then this is like a little pot of miscellaneous um, like ointments and bits and pieces. So I've moved them all into there. That's easy to grab. Um, got my headbands, spare toothpaste, dental harps that kind of thing and then me and Callum on the bottom both have our own side just a little bit of a swap about a bit of a change about I feel like January for me is just that reset month and me and Callum have powered through and it's really it's really nice actually because I feel like the house is so much cleaner than it would have been if I had just spent four hours doing it because Callum notices things that I don't and I have to give it to him he's quite a clean person um he's not really I don't have to tidy up after him. I am going to get the bath run in. I think I'm going to use the special bath bomb that my brother got me for Christmas. Um, hang on, let me just get it out. He got me the genie lamp from Lush. And if you lift off the top of it, I mean, this 
is going to require a, a bath scrub after I've been in the bath. It's got blue dust inside. It's literally as if the genie is here himself and now I'm covered. Um, anyway, so I'm going to stick my neon candle on, get the bath run in. This is the bath bomb of choice today. I normally find that I reach for a bath when I'm feeling a need to kind of de-stress and relax, whereas today I'm just in a relaxed mode. Um, so I would tend to, if I'm in that mood, go for something of the sleepy twilight scent from Lush because I find that scent so relaxing and just like releases all the anxiety from the system. I have the twilight spray as well if I'm having an anxious stare, get that spritzed everywhere. Um, but I'm feeling good today. So I'm going to treat myself to this bad boy. This is literally the perfect Sunday. I think that's what I'm going to have to call this vlog. The perfect Sunday, nothing to do little bit of tidying i like it when callum's got nothing to do as well and we both just kind of do some bits in the house yeah this is unreal and i'm so happy that i've got food in the slow cooker because it feels like such less effort on a sunday i do like doing a roast but sometimes i do just want to put my feet up and relax um and today's one of those days on whilst it finishes off melting, dispersing into the bath. I'm going to do full skincare when I get out of the bath um, but I haven't had any makeup on today so I'm just going to go straight in oh, with this Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Face Mask. It smells incredible, I definitely have used this before. Um, I like a face mask when you can see it on your skin. Since being on Rakuten, I've actually stayed away from face masks completely because I find that they aggravate my skin. But I'm on, actually, the last couple months um, now, I'm still taking quite a large dose, but I've become quite um, accustomed to it, I would say. And I'm only going to be lowering my dose now when I have my appointment next month. So that's exciting. What I thought was going to be like a six month course has turned into almost a 10 month course. Um, but I'd rather it be a longer course and then not have to start again, do it all over again. Um, anyway, yeah. This face mask is quite gritty. So I'll probably take this off whilst I'm in the bath with a really warm flannel um, just to take my time and not let it be too abrasive on my skin but other than that it feels good it feels really refreshing actually i'm out the bath I've just put on my favorite harry potter pajamas from primark this lighting is not ideal and i'm feeling i always feel really like fresh after a bath like i've had a facial like a steam um just put on some tender stem broccoli look at this Unreal. That has been cooking away all day. Callum's prepared Star is Born for us to watch, which does mean that I'm probably going to sit and sob. Um, but I am going to be doing, whilst that's on, my little project. So I'm going to get set up for this. Whilst we are here, before I do my project, let's have a little look over my bookshelf. So I have actually removed some books recently because I've read these and I'm going to pass them on because they've... Anything that's not like a five star, I absolutely love the book. I'm gonna pass on. Um, so I haven't gone through these properly, but these are basically all the books I've read that I've loved. Um, some of them were quite a while ago, and I remember loving them. I'm not sure if I'd feel the same if I reread them now, like Chasing Daisy. I'm not sure if I'd feel exactly the same, and the same with Pictures of Lily. But I remember loving them at the time, so I've kept them. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. This one I know I definitely love, and this one is great. And this is basically the TBR. We've got Where the Crawdads Sing, The Spanish Love De Deception, um, Bridgerton, which I need to finish this series, uh, Good Girls Guide to Murder, that's meant to be good, another good series, also another good series, Thursday Murder Club. Hamed's Tale, I've watched this, so it'll probably take me a while to get around to reading it, but would like to. Harry Potter series, 
another Beth Leary book, love her writing, another page tune. This is going to be a bit of a rogue one. Um, saw this one and I just liked the cover and the storyline looked good so I picked up that one. Another Bridgerton, Harry Potter again. This one I actually didn't finish. I started reading it, got a few chapters in and wasn't enjoying it so I am actually going to look at listening to the audiobook for this one instead. Um, another one that I haven't got around to, I feel like I just need to be in the right place to start it. The Luckiest Girl Alive, another Beth O'Leary. This one I got in a blind date with a book, but I will get around to reading it at some point. Page Tune, Page Tune, Harry Potter, Bridgerton. A lot of these are like series that I've been reading. Um, a Christmas book, another Page Tune, and Leanne Moriarty. Excited to read this one. Um, down here I've got a Colleen Hoover, Pumpkin Spice Cafe, Couple Next Door, that's a bit of a rogue one. Harry Potter, this one was recommended, The Dog Stars, I'm excited to read that. Another Harry Potter, another Colleen Hoover. Book Thief is something that I've wanted to read for a long time. Another, and then two more Colleen Hoover. But I feel like there's a very much a running theme there. Um, yeah, so that is my 2024 bookshelf, book full, bookshelf full of stuff that I need to get around to reading. And to not buy an alternative books instead. But I am making um, a TBR for after I finish these books because um, I would love to do like a giant book haul probably towards the end of the year if I get for all of them and then I'll have my fave picks ready to go. The um, Akatar book series is first, first on the list because I feel like that is the only thing that will fill my fourth wing uh, pen. <laughs>